Hello everybody, how y'all doing? I hope it's been a good day for you, or at least a good weekend. I just realized today it's a three-day weekend here in the States. It's like, uh, hello? <laughs> it's actually one of the reasons why I'm a little bit late on this, uh, reading today. Um, I, uh, decided to give my bestie a call and we had a really nice long conversation. It's been a, a long minute since we've been uh, able to talk and everything. So it was really, really nice catching up and so forth. So yeah, I, I apologize for just being a little bit late today, but you know what? I get to take time out for myself every once in a while, especially for, for those uh, that I love and care about. All right. Not that I don't love and care about you all. I do. But I'm with you all six days a week. <laughs> Her I get to talk to only once every two, three months if I'm lucky. So anyway, all right. You know what I mean. All right. Let's dive into this before I put my foot in my mouth even that much more. <laughs> all right. First up is the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. First up is the number 32 card. That's the 32 card. This is from the bottom of the deck, by the way. The Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Okay. Second card from the top of the deck. <coughs> Excuse me. I know I've had, had a, um, a lot of coughing issues today. All right, uh, top of the deck, the number 12 card. That's the one, two card, the Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. Interestingly, let's see if I can do this without losing my page. <coughs> Excuse me, my pages in my book here. You can see them looking at each other. Yeah, okay. All right, basically, spirit guiding you while you create that beautiful life that you really, really want and be helping you with your creative self-expression all righty last card is <coughs> excuse me uh then also from the top of the deck oh my goodness it's the number 51 card that's the five one card the sandpiper spirit be playful okay now i realize that you've got these two cards standing away from each other but that's okay you know because you know on the one hand it's it's um basically telling you be playful while creating your own song or singing your own song okay all that added up to five definitely um uh, all about the change you know, especially with the sort of cards that we have and everything. I know it's here lately. A lot of the readings have been very serious and so forth. But you know what? It's time to cut loose. Time to party a little bit. All right. Let's get let's get down to business or with being playful. All right. Second uh, deck is the Good Tarot, also by Colette Baron Reed. All right. First up from the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Earth. This would be the Seven of Pentacles in, in the traditional deck. And I'm going to read this to you. It's opening to a new strategy, being at a crossroads, a decision to be made. As I reflect on my progress to date and see where I stand, I contemplate whether I want to continue singing the same song. Hello? Okay. Or change my tune. I am always free to go back to and reimagine what I might co-create. If what I manifested does not serve me as I thought it might, I don't have to be afraid to admit it is no longer for me. Whatever I choose to do, I am not afraid to start over, for I feel assured that spirit will always support my highest good. So basically, all the three cards right there wrapped up into one all right second card from the top of the deck is the nine of water this would be the nine of cups this is all about wishes being fulfilled all right dreams come true wishes fulfilled completion enjoyment contentment achievement of desire it is right to say no to what isn't right for me and now is my time to experience wishes fulfilled the sweet harvest that it came about from seeds i planted Okay, that's the main reason why I'm, I'm reading this one, because uh, in the traditional deck, the Seven of Pentacles is all about planting those seeds and watching them grow. So, um, uh, Sweet Harvest that came from, shoot, 
seeds I plant, excuse me. I drink in the aroma of successful endeavor, take pride in my hard work and achievement, and savor the satisfaction of a job well done. I deserve to pause and acknowledge all I co-created, and I do it joyfully. Okay? All right, last card also from the top of the deck is actually from the Major Arcana. It's the number 12 card. That's the one, two card, the Hanged Man. All right, normally this is about, you know, sit tight and wait, um, looking at things from a different perspective, things like that. But I'm going to read this one also. Uh, basically, the main theme is surrender. Sacrifice and surrender are necessary at times like this. Nothing in life is free, nor does everything happen according to my timetable. When this card appears, I'm reminded that a delay is in my best interest, that until all the elements are in place, I'm meant to surrender to the greater will for the highest good of all. Time for me to let go of my attachment to how I thought things had to be. I am called to surrender and wait to see how things play out. Mm -hmm. So basically, same theme as what the top is, okay, all about. All right, so that one was all, I added up to one, all about that new beginning, that, um, that basically the change of a new beginning. <laughs> all of, I'll add it up to six, which can be, all, typically it's a, a six is a, a about the home environment. You can think of the home environment with yourself, the, basically the life that you're leading, your body, your physical realm so forth okay all right so if you like this message please hit that like button if you like the content coming out of this channel please subscribe hit those notification buttons so you know when new videos are coming out and also please share so we can help keep these this positivity going and of course don't forget to head up over to the blog ah. <laughs> I hope you all are having as great of a weekend as what I have been. I really, really do. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. I promise I do. <laughs> Forget what I said at the beginning. Love you all.